In this video, we're going to begin looking at how we can solve a literal equation or a formula for a variable. We have already seen solving problems like 3x equals 12. We know that in order to solve this equation for x, we balance through the equals and divide both sides by 3. <coughs> and x would be equal to 12 thirds, which in this case reduces to 4. Formulas work in a very similar manner. A formula would be something like wx equals z, and we're asked to solve this equation for a variable, in this case for the variable x. As we solve for the variable x, it means we need to get rid of everything else. When we're solving formulas, we follow the same patterns we did from linear equations. We will simply have letters, instead of numbers, left over in our answer. To get the x alone, we need to divide by whatever is with it. Just like we divided by 3 in the first problem, we're going to divide by x in this... or I'm sorry, divide by w in this problem. When we divide both sides by w, the w's divide out and the x is alone. It is equal to this fraction, z over w. Once the x, the only x, is alone, we have our solution. We can follow the same pattern with addition and subtraction problems. In this problem, on the left, we have 7 plus n equals 2. We've solved problems like this before. We get the variable we want, n, alone, by subtracting 7, or 7 negatives on both sides. And n will be equal to 2 minus 7 which in this case works out to negative 5. When we're solving a formula, like the one on the right, m plus n equals p, we're solving for n, we want that n to be alone. This means we need to get rid of the positive m. Just like we got rid of the positive 7 with 7 negatives, we get rid of the positive m with m negatives on both sides. m minus m is 0, leaving the n alone, which is what we're looking for. On the right side, we have the subtraction problem p minus m. They are not like terms, so they cannot be combined. So we'll simply write it as p minus m. Our goal, however, was to get the n alone in the problem. We have done that, n is equal to p minus m. Solving formulas, we will solve them using the same exact pattern and process we used to solve regular linear equations. The only difference is now our answers will have variables instead of numbers on the other side of the equation.